Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 9. Now, there was a man of Binyamin whose name was Kish, the son of Aviel, the son of Seror, the son of Bakarath, the son of Afiach, a Binyamini, a mighty man of power. And he had a son whose name was Shaul, a choice, young, and goodly man. And there was not among the children of Yashadael a goodlier person than he. From his shoulders and upward, he was higher than any of the people. And the asses of Kish, Shaul's father, were lost. And Kish said to El Shaul, his son, Take now, Eth, one of the servants with you, and arise, go seek Eth the asses. And he passed through Mount Ephraim, and passed through the land of Shalishalaha, rather, Shalishaha, rather, Shalisha, but they found them not. Then they passed through the land of Sha'alim, and there they were not. And he passed through the land of Bin Ha Yamini, but they found them not. And when they were come to the land of Suf, Shaul said to his servant that was with him, Come and let us return. Let my father leave caring for the asses and take thought for us. And he said unto him, Behold now, there is in this city a man of Elohim, and he is an honorable man. All that he says comes surely to pass. Now let us go thither. Perchance he can show us at our way that we should go. Then said Shaul to his servant, But behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of Elohim. What have we? And the servant answered, Eth Shaul again, and said, Behold, I have here at the hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver. That will I give to the man of Elohim, to tell us Eth our way. Before time in Yashadael, when a man went to inquire of Elohim, thus he spoke, Come, and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Then said Shaul to his servant, Well said, come, let us go. So they went unto the city where the man of Elohim was. And as they went up the hill to the city, they found young maidens going out to draw water, and said unto them, Is the seer here? And they answered them and said, He is, behold, he is before you. Make haste now, for he came today to the city. For there is a sacrifice of the people today in the high place. As soon as ye come into the city, ye shall straightway find him before he goes up to the high place to eat. For the people will not eat until he comes, because he blesses the sacrifice, and afterwards they eat that be bidden. Now therefore get ye you up, for about this time ye shall find him. And they went up into the city, and when they were come into the city, behold, Shemuel came out against them for to go up to the high place. Now Yahuwah had told Shemuel, Eth in his ear, a day before Shaul came, saying, Tomorrow about this time I will send you a man out of the land of Binyamin, and you shall anoint him to be captain over my people, Yashareel that he may save Eth my people out of the hand of the Pelishitim. For I have looked upon Eth my people, because their cry is come unto me. 
And when Eth Shemuel saw Shaul, Yahuwah said unto him, Behold, the man whom I spoke to you of, this same shall reign over my people. Then Shaul drew near to Shemuel in the gate and said, Tell me, I pray you, where the seer's house is. And Shemuel answered at Shaul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me unto the high place, for ye shall eat with me today. And tomorrow I will let you go and will tell you all that is in your heart. And as for your asses that were lost three days ago, set not at your mind on them, for they are found. And on whom is all the desire of Yashara'el? Is it not on you and on all your father's house? And Shaul answered and said, Am not I a Binyaminin, rather Binyamini, of the smallest of the tribes of Yashara'el? and my family the least of all the families of the tribe of Binyamin? Wherefore then speak you so to me? And Shemuel took Eth Shaul and Eth his servant and brought them into the parlor and made them sit in the chiefest place among them that were bidden, which were about thirty persons. And Shemuel said unto the cook, Bring at the porch portion which I gave you, of which I said unto you, Set it by you. And the cook took up the shoulder and that which was upon it, and set it before Shaul. And Shemuel said, Behold, that which is left, set it before you, and eat. For unto this time has it been kept for you, since I said, I have invited the people. So Shaul did eat with Shemuel that day. And when they were come down from the high place into the city, Shemuel communed with Shaul upon the top of the house. And they arose early, and it came to pass about the spring of the day that Shemuel called El Shaul to the top of the house, saying, Up! that I may send you away. And Shaul arose, and they went out, both of them, he and Shemuel abroad. And as they were going down to the end of the city, Shemuel said to El Shaul, Bid the servant pass on before us. And he passed on. But stand still a while, that I may show you Eth, the word of Elohim. Verse 